Hello Gothic friends, Razian is my name. Welcome to Gothic to Live Hardcore Edition. We managed to beat the bandits here that we needed to do it last time. We are going to keep clearing here near the owner's farm. Because there are some enemies, we have to level up and get better at it. And then we have to decide also to join. But we have to do the bandits quest also. Actually, we can do that once we join the faction. But I prefer to do it before. Field Raider. Why when I'm saving the the writing goes bold? I don't know why. Probably it's a version problem. More stuffy stuffs to pick up. Yeah, you had to hit me. But luckily you only deal minimum damage. There was a wolf that's not... That's new to me, that there are wolves. Oh, right, because of the new pets that got implemented here. We will end up to Xardas, right? How we don't one-shot them? At least we got your meat. This looks like a tree that we could take down, yep. And the arrow, we need the arrows. Right, we have to prepare for the next bow also anyway. So, here we have the lizards and there is a... See, it got bold, the name. And we have a bow here that we can get. Yeah. Would you please hit? We can do them with a sword, but we want to play as a bowman, and that costs us a lot of man, oh, a lot of money. For some reason, he cannot hit the lizards. See? Do we have a penalty if we hit from the close proximity? Because it looks like it. And there should be one more lizard only, so we can clear a lot of monsters now. I know if joining a faction actually will improve our armor, because this armor is quite high now. It's quite improved. Was this the hunter's place or is the one from the Dragomir the hunter's place? Yeah, this goes to Xardas, I believe, so we will check that also. We are in the mood to explore, 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 explore. And here is nothing, right? Yep, nothing. But here should be something. I have no clue how... Oh, look. Composite bow. Forgot to pick everything. Wait, sorry. Oh, okay. It was with uh, with the control that we took everything. So let's see the bows. Okay, it's those the same bow except ours is better because of the bow talent. So let's explore here be behind Sardas. At this rate, we could also kill the lizards behind Sardas' tower, but there is no need to because we need to do that in the second chapter for the necklace. Free money. A little lag. It's getting dark. Yep, this is Sardas' tower. Oh, another lizard. There are more lizards. We take so much damage because of the bow. But we are not going to give up. We play as a bowman. We also have to go to Bangar. Yeah, when we manage to hit, it's actually not that bad. 
So probably we will need some money after this. There's lots of arrows we don't have. So what about fighting them with a sword? It's going to take forever. But we have to pay attention to our money. Something loaded in. I just hope there are no orcs. So Xardas's tower is here. Mollerat, okay. That we can get. And we hear goblins. Are those goblin skeletons? Where are they? Or better said, where are we? The sounds come from... What are there? Ah, there are the goblins. I was like, what? Oh, I know where we are. I know where we are. This is where the teleport is. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Finally we deal some damage. Ship? Cannot pick up? Yeah, it looks like it's static, right? Even though it's a normal weapon. But we cannot do anything with it. So where are we here? Yeah, that's, that's the way to the bangers. So many arrows we don't have, only 60 more, right? Yeah, 60. Looking also for the trees. Oh, we are directly at Bangor, okay. This is a nice shortcut that they implemented here. Oh, this is a tree that we can clear out of the way. In the original Gothic there is too little flora and here is a little bit too much, I believe. We got wood. We need one more for the next bow anyway, but we need 30 dexterity. We can also learn to to craft dexterity. Where are we? Okay, oh, we are directly at Xardas. We don't have anything for Xardas. Yeah, but we are going to go back the way we came from. And fight with the goblins, the skeleton ones. Okay, is there any more trees? And here we are, have to be near. Oh, there's something there. Yeah, Inno statue, okay. And there were the bandits, yes. We know where we are now. Weren't there some field raiders or yeah, I believe we killed them. So now we have to clear this cave. So this episode is about exploring, fighting, killing. The only problem is we cannot go YOLO on them. And we cannot do them with the bow. That's why we need strength. We need a good weapon for the skeletons. Can we learn only one? Yeah, that's not what we wanted. Damn it. Finally. Let's heal because we bugged ourselves. So lucky with the a... 
Yeah, they go behind. They give more strength now. Oh, uh, more experience. Why we move forward when we uh, go left side attacking? So we don't know what kind of items we need in the future for crafting stuff because for upgrading something we needed the goblin skeleton, I believe, for the armor. There were only three, right? Nice. I hear no more goblins, only the... What's their names? Now the, the zombies are going to be here, right? And sarcophagus again for sure, because in the cave near the Lester we had to push the sarcophagus for items. If we only get one, we can pin it against the, the wall and kick the hell out of him. Yeah, that was very good. I thought they, they did fix this cheesing stuff, but no. Only 150, wasn't they supposed to give 200? I hope there is not a big skeleton there. We cannot take skeletons on for sure. We need better weapon because this weapon that we have is... Okay, nice. This weapon that we have is good only for the bow because it gives 15 dexterity, that's a lot. But for fighting it's not so great. Actually I know where to get a good weapon. We have to go to the two trolls. Wow, we get hit by them zombies. Yeah, that we get the wrap here there by the rolls, which is a dexterity weapon, gives us a uh, one handed bonus. We also have to get one handed fighter to be able to fight the zombies, uh, not the zombies, but the undead monsters. We are going to die if we get one more time hit. Yeah, as I said, the sarcophagus, that's a very nice idea. I mean, why would anyone put the, the items above the sarcophagus, above the, above the tomb? Nice, nice. One more thing. We can sleep actually at Orleans and cook our stuff because it's night time anyway. So we cleared a bit here. We have to go to Bangor's after. Oh, it's so dark. In the video, I noticed it's really not dark, but when I play it, it's like literally so dark. No, it's not over yet. We have to sleep and then it's going to be over. We can sleep here for sure. Do you really believe that? That will never change. Six twenty in the morning. It's a good time to keep hunting. Is it over now? Well, there you are, finally. finally. I've been waiting for you. What happened? The drinking contest is finally over. Yeah, Who won? This time Randolph has won. Rookar must have been having a bad day. So, well, I hope that was the last time. I don't want that kind of to do in my house ever again. Remember that. Okay. Where is the guy? Nothing amazes me anymore. Did Randall already leave? Tell me that isn't true. 
Oh, there it is. Wait a second, my friend. Wait a minute. That will never change. Hangover? No, I feel fine, really. It finally worked this time. Thanks again for your money. Here, take it back. Looks like Rukar won't be getting up in the We got two gold soon. profit. No one will want to hear that. That's a lot of profit, right? Only two gold. But experience is experience, and 100 from him. You seem to have bitten off more than you can chew. Here's your money, and not one word more. He really should have known better. Yes, do we have arrows? We need more arrows. Certainly. He really should have known better. Nope. No arrows more. We might have to visit the bandits. Tell me that isn't true. Because for Bangar we don't have a lot. Oh, actually, we can level up with Bangar, so let's level up and then we will go to town. Improve our bow? Yeah, we have to do it. To be able to at least be the next level. I don't know what's the next level, I forgot. Oh. Wild boars. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, the, the arrow is annoying. We can beat the lurkers, right? With the arrows. There are a lot of lurkers. And we also have a quest for Gan. They are weaker than the lizards, apparently. The lizards take four hits. But we are so tanky, unbelievable. Come here, you beastie. Yeah, I believe in the next episode we can go back to town and then we can clear the, the valley where we hunt with the uh, Bartok. Because there are goblins, black goblins. And snipers, if we can kill lurkers, we can kill snipers also. A lurker. Yeah, stop messing it up. Damn it, did we save? Please tell me I saved. Because I'm quite bad at saving, apparently. So they can stun lock us also. Not only we can stun lock them, they can stun lock us also. Better heal because I said I'm going to heal to cook more, but nope. Maybe we'll go directly to Lobart. Not Lobart, sorry. Bangar's farm, and then we will cook there and talk with the NPCs. Yeah, the. Sometimes we hit from a far away and sometimes up close we cannot hit them. Someone died here. Nice level up. Sometimes it goes very nice. We can simply kill the monsters. And sometimes it's a pain in the back. Okay, nothing behind here. We only have the the Greg's chest. This looks so uh, beautiful. Oh boy, they made this one so beautiful. Look at this. Before I forget, I have to go and pick the chest behind the Lobart's house. It used to be here. Oh man, this is awesome. It goes even higher. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What do we find here? We would need some items. Farmer, farmer. 
they have nothing here. That's why they don't mind us being here, right? Other farmer. They sleep like that on. They don't even notice that we are here. Fire, we can cook here, right? All of them, yes. They made this really beautiful. Still astonished by it. The only problem now is... Where is the... The treasure? Will they mine? Nope. I believe they didn't flag the new buildings that they added to belonging to anyone. It's like free for all. Why didn't they do that with Lobar's house? That one needed also a little bit of love. So where in hell is it supposed to be this? Digging. So here we come and here would be behind his house. No clue where it is now. Did they remove it or they put it somewhere else? Uh, we will have time to find it. It's no rush now. So Bengar, what do you have to tell us? You're the farmer here? You could say so, but I'm really just a tenant. All the land here is owned by one big farmer. Who was that? How do you make a living? Mostly hunting and the wood we cut. Of course, we also raise sheep and work the land. Onar saddles me with all these laborers and I have to keep them busy somehow. Only a few of them are good hunters, you see. Has anything strange happened around here lately? Many strange things are happening these days, but none as strange as the mysterious disappearance of Pardos. He's one of my field workers, and certainly not the kind who would drop everything overnight and slink off just like that, you see. What exactly is so strange about his disappearance? Pardos is such a timid sort. The furthest he's ever been from the farm is to the end of my fields. He would run away at the mere sight of a meat bug. Those things may not be pretty to look at, but you really couldn't call them dangerous. They say there's people who eat them. Gross. You get used to it. Yes, we did eat them, right? Maybe he was simply fed up. Working in the fields was his life. I cannot imagine him having gone to work for another farmer. With me, he could do whatever he wanted. Any clues at all? I think those bandits must have dragged him off. They've been roaming around this area for days now. I once saw them drag a citizen of the town off to their camp. It looked like they were gonna make him a slave. Where is this bandit camp? At the far end of my fields, some steps lead down to a small hollow. That's where they have made themselves at home. I'd like to go look for Pardos there, but there's no way I'm going up against those guys. And you would better give him a wide berth too. They're not known for their sense of humor. I will try our luck, don't you worry. Give us our money. Were the bandits carrying weapons when they passed by here? What kind of stupid question is that? How would they be bandits if they weren't armed? I mean a whole load of weapons, a big delivery. I see. Yes. Now that you mention it, they were carrying lots and lots. Some in barrels, some in bags, and some on the cart they brought. You're employing day laborers? Onar sends away the workers he can't use on his farm. Then... He sends them to me. I feed them and they work here for me. What do you think of Onar? <laughs> He's a greedy bastard who'll get us all hanged in the end. One of these days, 
The paladins will come out of the city and make us small farmers bleed for what he's doing here. But I haven't got a choice. The militiamen only come here to collect and not to defend the farm. The if yard. I held myself Damn loyal to the city, I'd be very much on my own. At least Onar sends some mercenaries now and then to see how we're doing. What have you got against the royal troops? It's obvious. There hasn't been any improvement now that the paladins are in the city. Just the opposite. Now these cursed militiamen come onto our land even more often and steal everything they can. And the paladins don't do a darn thing about it. The only paladins that I've ever seen are the two guards at the pass. <laughs> they wouldn't budge an inch, even if the militia slaughtered us all. The pass? the pass? We're curious yeah, about it. The pass to the old valley of mines by the waterfalls at the other end of the high pastures. Ask Malik about it. He was there a couple times last week. Okay, let's talk with Mallet. Two farmers staring only at the field. It's not going to be worked out like that, boys. You have to go on the field. There's some business there. Now, where is Mallet? She's not here anymore, or what? Oh, there he is, with his ships. This got so different now. Hey, not Malak, Malak. Yeah, you know how it is. Thank Everything you for your donation. Right? Yet another day laborer who doesn't know where to go? No problem. Talk with our farmer, Bengar. What are you doing here? I'm the shepherd here. It's not exactly a demanding job. But now and then, you really have to watch out. Especially if you get too close to the pass. What do you know about the pass? Not much. Just that it leads to the old valley of mines that was surrounded by the barrier until a few weeks ago. Back then, the only thing we farmers had to be afraid of was the monthly caravan that took all kinds of goods to the valley of mines. Those cutthroats often made life difficult for us out here. Where can I find the pass to the old Valley of Mines? Near the two waterfalls on the other side of the high pastures. What is it they say about the Valley of Mines? All sorts of things. Some of the boys say they've heard screams at night. Some have seen strange lights over the mountains. But if you ask me, it's all just old wives' tales. You're a tough you cookie, aren't you? The Valley of Mines? No. But I go near the pass once in a while. Then I always see those two paladins who stand around and keep watch. It looks like they're making sure that nothing comes out of the valley. Back then, the Valley of Mines was a natural prison. If you went in, you never came out again. Tell me more about the paladins. How long have they been posted there? A week or two, I suppose. I like I the armor that we wear and the Some shield. Time ago, there it's was so even beautiful. There was a whole troop of them that disappeared into the pass. Since then, I haven't seen them again. I don't see any women here at all. You got that right. This is a man's farm, so to speak. Works pretty well, I think. Don't work too hard. I'll try. Yeah, actually, that's right. We don't see any women on this farm. Lobart has his wife. Sekub has his wife. Onar has his daughter, his wife. Onar has more. So actually, we have to clear this for Dogan because he's walking this way once we talk with him. The grass is so aggressive. And after we talk with Khan, we can remove the shield. Not the shield, sorry, the ring. Boy, there is so much greenery here. Is the guy here? Yeah, there he is. So let's clear his way. Here is supposed to be another Greg treasure. Little lurker. Are there two or one? Yeah, there are two. One more. And then we can get to, to talk to Gan. Oh, 
Yeah, the treasure is there. There are some scavengers and then we clear the path to Gan. Behind them there is a uh, I think I there is something. a piece that we have to clear to kill, but I kind of want to take their their claws because there are a lot of those later on and we will need money anyway. Come here you pissy. A wild, a wild boar. Nicey nice. The bandits. Yeah, I believe next episode we are going to go get the bandits and then get the rapier because the bandits will have some arrows and we can take them one versus one. Sounds like a good plan. Let's see what Gan has to tell us. Oh, there are plants. The water looks so nice. Everything looks so nice about Kafik, especially about Liva Edition. We have here to clear some monsters still. So again, do we have the ring? Yes. Hey. Pretty easy to steal from him. Let's see, can we do it? Wait a minute. Nice. You've got a lot of space up here. It's nice enough. But if you go through the pass back there, you won't think so much longer. <laughs> if this little track to land has impressed you, then wait till you see the Valley of Mines back there. We've been there. Been there, done that. Why are you looking so solemn? You're wearing our aquamarine ring. You belong to the Ring of Water? I certainly do. Good to see a new face in our ranks. What's your task within the Ring of Water? I keep an eye on the entrance to the pass to see who goes in and out. Since the paladins have closed the gate to the pass, however, there hasn't been much coming and going. Have you heard of those missing people? Of course I have. That's why we're supposed to keep our eyes open. But I haven't seen much that would give you a clue, to tell you the truth. What do I need to know about the Valley of Mines? No idea. I'm only taking a fleeting glance at the valley. Look pretty dangerous. The best thing to do if you go there, through the pass, is to stay close to the beaten track. Either you take the way through the big gorge or the road over the stone bridge. That one is shorter and safer. Now that the orcs are roaming all over the place, you have to be a bit careful. I don't want to have to drag you to the Herb Witch. Herb Witch? Her name is Sagita, and she's the healer for the farmers and the other people who live outside the harbor city. A truly curious female. No one really likes going to her, and everybody enjoys gossiping about her. But if you're sick, you won't find better help than Sagita and her kitchen full of healing herbs. You'll find her in the strip of woods behind Sekub's farm. Thank you. Can you teach me about hunting? No problem. For a hundred gold coins, I can show you how to gut the animals you bring down. Pelts and other trophies bring a lot of money in the market. How's the hunting? The last animal I could bring down was a large rat. Not very encouraging and bad for business. For several days now, some kind of snorting beast has been roaming the area. It not only kills everything that moves, it also interferes with my work. What does this dangerous beast look like? I don't know exactly. Up to now, I mostly heard grunting and scratching. But I've seen what it can do. Even wolves aren't safe from it. The beast even bit the head off of one. How much would you pay me if I killed that beast for you? I'd give the person who killed it everything I could spare. 60 gold pieces. Starting to rain. Where does this scummy beast come from? Somewhere from outside the woods. Maybe from the Valley of Mines. But I don't know for sure. I've never been to the Valley of Mines. Okay. Thank you. 
so now we have to clear here there is a lurker two of them actually oh that that went smooth smoother than I expected oh, we will see nothing now scavenger right here okay cannot I cannot take the bow why cannot I take the bow out was it because I had no more arrows Oh, it's because of the arrows, okay. Let's see if we can kill the lurkers and then we will... Yeah, okay. One, one on one. And I wanted to end the video like that. But apparently that wasn't a good idea. Yeah, he's not giving. He's not going back up now. Oh boy, this is such a bad ending. What can I say? I guess I'm just going to rage quit here. One more try. So arrows actually are not bad for lurkers. Let's go, lurky lurk. Yeah. Nice. Just the two scavengers and then and going to end the episode before I embarrass me. As I said, this is the worst let's play of the world, guys. So expect little. We need arrows, so we might have to get a trip into the city. Punch in the back. One shot it. Nice. Oh, we still have one arrow, so there are no more enemies. Oh, there is a... Or oh, didn't we kill it? Nice. So we cannot pull out the, the bow anymore now. So I guess we cleared everything about Lovebart. In the next episode, we are going to go to the bandits. We will sword fight them with a shield get their arrows then we will go take the rapier and then we will visit the mercenaries not going to join them but visit them so thank you very much guys for joining me i'll see you in the next episode be cool and bye bye